In this video, we'll show you how to scan and edit with the Echo software. The Echo software opens in the gallery view. Global app navigation is by clicking the Echo Pie in the top left-hand corner. This pie is divided into three slices, gallery, scan, and puzzle, and a center circle which takes you to the main menu. Your gallery files can be viewed in icon or in list view, and can be sorted in ascending or descending order. By various parameters. Click on the Sort By button to change your sort preferences and click on Save afterwards to save the changes before closing the window. The first thing to do before scanning is to create a new project. This organizes your project scans, edits, and spawns into one repository. All scans are first saved as raw files, after which they can be edited and spawned. If you don't create a new project before starting, scans will be unattached without any definitions or organizational hierarchy, so don't skip this important step. There are two ways to begin scanning, either a short single press of the scan button on the F6 Smart, or click the round button in the middle left of the screen in the Echo software. It will turn red to indicate that it's started. Click again to stop. Click in the middle of the pie to go to the main menu. In the main menu you will find About, Settings, Full Screen, and a button to quit the app. About displays the Echo Software Release version number. In the Settings menu you have options for Play After Recording, which is Auto Play After Scanning, Play after processing for autoplay after processing. Start in full screen mode. Halfback buffer size, which is a lower resolution preview that consumes less system resources for processing. Allow multi-segment. Segments are portions of a scan, a single frame or a number of frames that are missing data in the flow and therefore do not succeed in connecting to the main scene. If you uncheck this option, Recording will stop when a second segment is created. Small gallery thumbnails, which if deselected, thumbnails will be shown in the large display, and the gallery path, which defines the path of the Echo Database repository. Click Save before exiting the window to save any changes made, and return to the main screen. Returning to the gallery after scanning, you can see that we get a raw file. Let's open our Dragon Scan now, take a few seconds for it to load, and then we can move on and begin working with our editing tools. The Echo Software's advanced editing tools make it easy to perform a broad array of post-scan actions including editing, cleaning, rendering, fixing, texturing, converting, and exporting. When editing your scan, we recommend that you first click on HQ Registration. HQ Registration is an algorithm layer that corrects misalignment that occurs during the scanning decoding process. Even if there is no visible misalignment, we recommend performing HQ Registration after every scan. This process can take a couple of minutes depending on your scan and your PC, so be patient. It's worth your while. In the rendering mode, there are sliders to adjust the point size, point intensity, and point saturation. There are two options in the projection mode, perspective and orthogonal. Perspective view gives you an illusion of 3D perspective or horizon when you pan the scene. Closer objects will appear bigger. In the orthogonic view, the scene is completely static, like a painting. Images are rendered in all right angles and parallels, without any imagined horizontal curve. There are two widget options, ground and center of rotation. Setting the ground plane helps simplify your work in the 3D environment. Defining the center of rotation helps find the optimal rotation. Clicking on center view takes you to the center view of the scan. 
The background mode allows you to define the scan background as dark, bright, or custom for any color. The selection tools make it simple and easy for you to edit and customize the scan in accordance with your requirements. Tools include a rectangle selector, spray brush, free draw, cylinder, invert, accuracy, and range. Clicking on the X without saving cancels the operation. So let's show a couple of examples. First, we're using the rectangle tool. Select a rectangular area and then click the X to delete. Now let's use the free draw tool. We'll draw, select an area here. Invert. The idea is to get rid of the non-relevant areas. And then if we regret what we've done there, we can go and click the X to deselect. Use range to select the relevant point range that you want to display. Now that we've finished with the selection tools, let's go to the bottom right of the screen. Clean up segments is used to clean up segments with the low frame count. Here we delete segments where there is minimal and unnecessary information. Original colors is the color defined by the segment, showing you the original color of the scan from the camera. When you remove original colors, you see the color of the segment group. This is meant to assist you in editing by giving you a reference. The scan viewer allows you to view a single frame, a shadow frame, all frames, or a cumulative view of the scan model. Showing the cumulative view, we can see the scan model being built frame by frame. If we go into single frame, we can check the scene accuracy noise level for a specific frame. The camera magnet function takes you to the correct frame position as taken by the camera at the time. Now let's take a look at the measurement tools over here. These tools let you measure points, distances, angles, and lines, including point to plane, point to line, and line to line. So first let's check a distance point to point. We select our point tool, go on and double click. Once again, double click. There we have our two points. So now let's check some distances here. We clicked on the measurement tools and clicked on distance. Let's check from two points here to here. And we get our distance measured. First, let's look at the distance between two points. Double click here, double click here, and as you see here, we get our distance shown in the top left, and there's a full history of those uh, measurements that you've performed. Now let's show point to plane. So to create our plane, we need a vertex with three points. And then click again at our point. And then you can see distance to plane is shown here in our measurements history. The navigate button allows you free navigation as desired. To return to navigate after selecting a different tool, you need to click navigate once again. Use cleanup segments to remove segments with a frame count below the desired number. For example, segments with a frame count less than 4. First, let me show you how to split segments. In order to split a segment into multiple frames, right-click on the frame timeline and then click on Split Segment. Split Segment. And let's create a small segment here. In order to register and merge two segments, select them and click on the Try Register button.
we get a green light which confirms that it's okay to merge. Now we click on merge and those segments have been merged. When working on multiple segments, Feel Lucky is used to try and connect them even if they are not perfectly aligned. Click Global Registration to correct misalignments between segments only when there is one segment layer. There are two denoise algorithm options in the ECHO software, MLS and SOR. SOR is statistical outlier removal. First, the average distance of each point to its neighbors is computed. Then points that are farther than the average distance, plus a number of times the standard deviation, are rejected. MLS is moving least squares. Attempts to recreate the missing portions of the scan surface via point interpolation. After resampling, small errors can be corrected and artifacts from registering multiple scans together are smoothed. For most users, especially those not familiar with denoising, we recommend using SOR Level 8 denoising out of the box. You can use both denoising tools simultaneously, though it will take more time to process the model. Clicking Save As saves the changes that you've made to the editable portion of the project. Going into the gallery, we'll now see the file that we've saved under Editables. When exporting, it's important to select Merge Frames Within Groups, or the export will be done frame by frame. Only if you're exporting MVX, then Merge Frame Within Groups should be deselected. Otherwise, you will not be able to edit the frames you've exported. Now let's go to Spawn and create a clean MVX file. After we give the name, click on Mesh. There are three different quality preset levels, low, medium, and high, which should be good enough for most uh, models. Uh, you also have a uh, custom if you are a Mesh expert. Then click Go. When the spawn is completed, you'll get the following a message on the screen. Spawn created and saved in gallery. Click OK. We can then go to the gallery and see our spawn. You can click Texture if you want to remove the texture from the mesh, or you can click Align in order to remove the color from the texture. Click on Export in order to export the mesh to PLY, OBJ, or STL. So there you have it, an introduction to scanning with the F6 Smart Scanner and editing with the Echo software. Thank you for being with us.